feminists. Let's go ahead and jump right into this reading, girl. We ain't got no time. We just got to go ahead and transmute this energy. I don't know what's going on with these karmics. I don't know, honey, but I am over it. All right. Let us see what the messages are. The spirit has here for you on today. You have somebody interested, honey. I feel like you're detaching from something and welcoming in something else. All right. Welcoming in what's good for you, what's healthy for you. That's it. Yeah. All right, we have it's lit, living life, good vibes in the moment. And somebody's upset about it. I don't really think you much care, honey. Okay, let's see. What's the vibe? Yeah, we have pressed. All right, and we have in sync. So yeah, somebody has become very obsessed with you. Somebody could also be obsessive when it comes to you. I feel like you're blocking this person out. Again, it feels karmic. I understand completely, wholeheartedly. I think everybody collectively is just getting over the karmic energy, okay? Over it. Um, no longer making excuses for people. You got Zaddy finna pop up on you, okay? Somebody is taking a leap of faith, coming towards you with no regrets, ready for some new endeavors. I also feel like this is you. You're, you're ready to risk it all, whatever it is, okay? Yeah, pretty much, okay? See here, karmic cycle, you're over it. Blue knows, okay? <laughs> I tell you guys, we're all mirrors for each other. Who knows? Okay, you might worry about these damn comments no more, chat. All right, what we got here? We have spark. It says perfect match, gut feeling, soul connection. Okay, so you're tending to what feels good to your soul, what feels good in your guts. Like when you just know something to be so, that's just what it is. You understand? You just know it to be so. So you're allowing it to be. Yeah. Is that even to pop up on us? Okay, unexpected surprise visit plot twist. And then we got here again, savage mode. Yeah, I feel like that's where feminine is right now, pretty much. Because you're over people trying to play with you or play in your face, okay? So you're like, listen, sorry, not sorry. I'm in the moment. You know, I'm interested in seeing what else is out there. And you have somebody upset about it. Oh, well, you know, people get the opportunity to be with a divine feminine or divine masculine. They should appreciate it. If you don't appreciate it, you take advantage of it. Whatever happens, happens. Somebody else look up because you look up. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let us see. The messages for a feminine. What does she need to know? You have somebody that wants to offer you commitment here, feminine. All right, long term commitment. All right, let us see. Where are the messages? Ooh, and this is today? Yes, in this present moment. Okay, you have somebody that is obsessively thinking about you. Okay, Archangel Michael is protecting you from people and things that just don't have good intentions for you or aren't good for you. You know, even environments. You're just not going to let people come into your environment, child. I'm telling you right now. In the event that there's something or someone in your environment that does not belong, spirit is going to do everything in their power to weed them out. But it's up to you to pay attention to what's going on. Okay? Yeah, we have children. All right? Somebody could be very immature or childish. Um, some of you could have decided to deal with a karmic longer than you really wanted to because of child or children. That happens all the time. You know, there's karmic contracts where people have kids together and that's what they were supposed to do. Once the contract is complete, it's like, okay, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want to do this. Okay. Not with this type of energy, not with this type of person. Um, we have meeting here, two or more people, discussions and planning. All right. So you and somebody more than likely your master have a lot to discuss. Okay. We have financial support child alimony and government okay so yeah your masculine wants to talk to you about the things they've been going through all right this is going to come in the very near future next few days weeks or months all right for some of you you've already heard from the person today or you're going to okay yeah we have done completion lesson learned somebody completed their karmic lesson their karmic cycle okay yeah it was only a matter of time and now they're ready to get back to this this uh soul contract they're ready to reconcile okay with their divine counterpart all right, we have family. Yeah, we have soul. That's what, didn't I just say that? I said spirit will do everything in their power to remove certain energy out of your environment. You have to pay attention to what's going on, okay? You have to be mindful of what it is that spirit is telling you. Yeah, we got soulmate, all right? Similar friendship romantic partner. Okay, so let us see. Yeah, you already know who your twin flame soulmate is, okay? And there's an offer coming in from this person. Offer, proposal, commitment. Didn't I say that earlier? Somebody wants commitment with you. 
okay but in order to get that something must first be discarded and then someone must ascend level up okay so it's like free up the space and then level up i feel this energy where the twins are mirroring each other so they could be going through this situation now financial support children family all that where you know there's like children involved so they have to pay child support and they even they were married alimony you know but in some way shape form or fashion the government is involved okay somebody could have been pretending that everything was okay or pretending that all was well for a little bit too long and they can't deny this love anymore okay they've been trying to deny the love for the longest time because of whatever this is and they can't do it anymore okay let us see ciao when god is involved i'm telling you <laughs> god gonna expose everything so we have cricket silence and non-action okay so yeah there's a little bit of silence here. This person, like I said, haven't said much because of what they've been going through and what they've been dealing with. Okay. Shall we have a negotiator, but now they want to come towards you, let you know what's been happening, let you know they've been, they were in negotiations or, you know, they were in some sort of situation where they could not tend to this first. They had to tend to that and then see what was up with this. Okay. This was forbidden for some reason, but the whole time they couldn't deal with you, they were sad, broken and feeling alone. Aww. we have realization okay yeah they want to bring these things to your awareness that they completed their lesson okay it says awareness finding out coming to light what's going to come to the light your person has completed their karmic cycle and they're ready to tend to what they feel is their perfect match okay they've been on this roller coaster ride for a really long time you see they had some stuff going on some legal stuff okay and you probably didn't want nothing to do with that if you knew about it and if you did it you're finding out about it now you're getting synchronicities everywhere. You're seeing angel numbers repetitively. Okay, you could be seeing this person's uh, person's birthday. I don't know why I just heard that, but you could be seeing this person's birthday. Um, you make them really happy, okay? They already feel whole within themselves, but you make them feel even more complete or something. Okay, it's like a puzzle piece. A puzzle piece is a whole piece, but it's a part of a bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? So it's something like that okay and we have bounty hunter again with that press this person is going to be coming after you hot pursuit okay they will not stop yeah we got love affair so at one point in time it could have turned into this in the event that you allowed it or they allowed it but because somebody had something they had to end first you know now it's going to become this because it's a spiritual union it's a soul contract they can't stay away from you okay you can flip it if you need to maybe you can't stay away from them but something had to be discarded first. I also feel somebody could have tried to discard their emotions because of whatever that situation was, but they just couldn't do it. You know, you can't fight off real love, honey. You can try, but it's not going to work. Okay, here we have pressure cooker. Exactly. Somebody's ready to explode. You can try, <laughs> but it's not going to work. So yeah, we have third party relationship lesson, karmic. So I definitely had a karmic situation that they were tending to, that they have completed, and now they're ready to move forward with you, okay? Oh, right, for our feminines, what are the messages? Yep, poison, child. See, that's why I was forbidden, okay? You didn't want to deal with it, so you know that i mean that is toxic you guys at the end of the day if somebody's involved romantically has a family yeah karmic or whatever is going on let that be what's going on they might not be able to stay away from you honey and you might not be able to stay away from them something as simple as an arm of theirs might drive you up a, up a wall you understand me just looking at the arm might send you going nuts. Like, oh my God, look at your skin. Oh my God, look at you. Oh my God. But if you can't touch him, you can't touch him. However, the things that are forbidden usually are the best or usually are the sweetest. That's how people feel, right? But it's like, no, 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 because it's not good for your soul. So you go ahead and bite it if you want to. It'll be the, the last thing you ever bite, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you go ahead and touch it if you want to. It'll be the last thing you ever touch, you know? Don't do that, okay? Let's see. Yeah, no, because would you want that done to you? You got to treat people the way that you want to be treated, period. That's just what it is, y'all, okay? Y'all know Blue is big on that. The twins are each other's twins, but in the event that you're romantically involved anywhere else, you cannot and should not dog those people out, you know, because all that is going to come back. That could also be a reason why some twins are afraid to be together because they know what they've been doing when they were separated. So they're like, damn, are we going to do this to each other? You know, kind of thing. All right. Future days, weeks, months, somebody wants a future with you. OK, this, and I feel like in the very near future, this person will be popping up on you, child. Yeah. Telling you, like, look, this is what happened. You know, we couldn't make it work. 
I tried. I couldn't. One of the things is they could have been trying to fight their feelings off for you in order to make that work. Well, you know how you try to tell yourself when you can't do something, when you can't have something, it's like you want it even more. You know, it's like that. So telling yourself that you cannot talk to your twin or you cannot be around your twin or you cannot, it's just going to make you want to be with your twin more. Running, avoiding. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm picking up. It's like the more they tried to run or the more they tried to avoid, honey, now it's like they went from running and avoiding to chasing you. That's what we saw with the bounty hunter, and that's what we see with press. So, and that was the very first card out, you know? So, I mean, you could have been the one that was pressed, and now you're running. You know, twins usually switch. One minute, it's like you feel like they're running from you. Then when you all in and you ready to be there with them, now all of a sudden they run, and you're like, listen, I don't have time for this bully back bull. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But the person returns, they come back, and that's why. Okay? They want to meet. They want to talk. They want to get on the same page. They're tuned into everything that you're doing. And again, they want to let you know about this. There could also be a karmic somewhere that's watching you and that wants revenge. They want revenge. This is a drama queen or a drama king. Okay? they like, um, what did uh, Lotto say? You know, they said they want their lick back. What you waiting for? Like, you want your lick back? Go on, get it, child. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, don't sit around and play. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you didn't necessarily do anything wrong. Because what I see here is you turned your back. You didn't want to deal with it because it wasn't right to do. So in the event they want their lick back, who are they getting their lick back against? You did the right thing. You chose not to do the unhealthy thing. So if anything, they should be appreciative <laughs> because you could have, but you did. Okay. That type of thing. So let us see. It's like you could have been disrespectful, but you chose to respect yourself more so than you could have ever, you know, been disrespectful to them. So, you know, you picked being respectful. You picked the right choice. You did the right thing. So if they want to come, let them come and then watch what happens. Got the Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Okay, Two of Pentacles is about keeping yourself balanced. All right, the Two of Wands is about keeping everything together. Um, You know, you could also been uh, juggling between what it is that you want to do or going back and forth between what it is that you want to do about something. You know, do you want to continue on with it or do you want to let it be? Okay, yeah, we have the three of pentacles, cooperation, teamwork. So this person wants to work with you. They want to be with you. They could have been trying to figure out which thing they wanted to do more. Okay, which thing they felt more passionate about, which connection. And see, again, that's probably why you was like, yeah, I'm over this. You know, it's no comparison to divine feminine um, between karmic feminine. So you're like, what? why would I do that to myself? You know, yeah, ten of swords, you would rather end it, walk away from your person permanently than to put yourself in. Uh, competition or to compare yourself to anyone comparison is the thief of joy you're not going to do that you're going to keep your happiness intact okay you're not going to compare yourself to somebody else because again it's no comparison we have the seven of swords you see seven of swords ten of swords that's the toxicity of it that's the unhealthy behavior you know where it's like if that's what it's going to be then no thank you because a person wants a brand new beginning with you and they've been putting in this work to have one to reconcile and all that, to stand up and fight for this connection. But again, spirit is like, there's a way to go about it. And it's not by sneaking and creeping and lying and cheating. You know, there's a way to go about it. Okay. So yeah, we have the four of swords, rest. Okay. Meditate, pray about it, then sit and receive the messages and downloads from spirit as to what it is that you should do. But you don't just go after somebody else's guy or girl. You get what I'm saying? That's not, no. We have the six of wands. Yeah, I feel like the two of you can overcome the obstacles and the challenges that you're going through. You know, if they really want to be with you, they'll make a way. Again, with the two of wands, they're picking and choosing, picking and choosing. You know, ten of cups, they want this happily ever after with you. This is your divine counterpart. You more than likely already know that. You know for a fact, if you're here watching this video, that the person you're watching it for is your DM. You know that already. Your question is what they're going to do about it. We got the magician. They're aiming to manifest you, to pull you in. OK, this may be somebody that has been through a lot when it comes to relationships. OK, but look at all these beautiful cards. Ten of Cups is happily ever after. Happy marriage, happy life, happy spouse, happy house. OK, Nine of Wands, this person has been through it when it comes to relationships. This is the wounded warrior. OK, with the star card, your love is very healing and therapeutic. OK, um, and then the Ace of Cups, this is like an overflowing amount of love, an abundance of love. It never ends. It never runs out. I always say the Ace of Cups is my 
Holy Ghost card, my Holy Spirit card. Okay, it's like being full of the Spirit. That's what I say the Ace of Cups is. So it's a never ending amount of love because God is love and God is life. So with the Eight of Wands, this is movement, this is communication. That's what they want to talk to you about. The Ace of Wands is a breakthrough and then justice again, karmic situation or karmic lesson or whatever the hell. Okay, so let's go around this board one more time. From what I'm seeing here, weighing the pros and cons of dealing with this person because there's a lot of passion. Is it just passion, though? Is it just sex? Because if that's the case, if it's just passion and sex, honey, you can get passion and sex anywhere, honey. You get what I'm saying? What What about that is so special in 2024 when it's everywhere? You get what I'm saying? Nothing about it is special anymore. But if you feel like it's more to it, then A, right? Maybe that's something to consider. Three of Pentacles is working together, collaborative effort. Okay, so let us see. Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. What is this? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so going from the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. So this person, I feel like they're watching you. They may know that you pulled back because maybe there's too much passion or they turn the passion up too often or something like that. So now they want to take their time or they're going to be slowing it down or something like that. All right. Yeah. Five. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. So if you've been pulling away because this person has been like too sexual or something like that then they peak game they recognize okay i feel like this person is like that because of how they feel about you you know you love somebody so much you care about them so much and you just want to you know what i'm saying express that but they possibly are not in a position right now to be able to express that so it's like why are you coming that way then that's that's inappropriate you know and so that causes you to pull back this person has observed and recognized that's what causes you to fall back small back say so like well let me not do that it's not that they don't want to be with you three of pentacles it's a matter of divine timing it's not that you don't want to be with them it's a matter of divine timing if you with somebody how to help them be with you you know what i'm saying it's like that you know so six of pentacles is um equally yoked the two of you feel like it's a equally yoked situation you balance each other out in many ways the seven of pentacles is investing your time your love effort consistency with the eight of pentacles okay or just waiting. You know, you've invested a lot of love. So now you're waiting to see what happens. With this Ten of Swords and the Strength card, it's like saying there's been a lot of betrayal, but you're healing from it. I can't even say but because but cancels it out. There's been a lot of betrayal. However, you're healing from it. And this person is trying to hold on to you for dear life because they know you're their divine feminine. Okay, but what does that mean? If this is your divine feminine, but you have not treated them like they're your divine feminine or like you know, first of all, it's not just twin flames. You guys are twin flame soulmates. They're not even treating you right. <laughs> They're not even treating you right. They're just treating you like because you are that, you're supposed to be present or something. That's not how it works. All right. So because they know you're the divine feminine, that means what? You got to deal with them because you don't. Okay. Let us see. What is this seven of swords here, please? The four of pentacles. Okay. And the empress. Exactly. So it's like they'll say anything or do anything just to hold on to you because of who you are. Because of how happy you make them and because they feel like it's meant to be. But the offers that they're giving you at the time, you know, until they heal from that karmic situation or until they end it permanently. Because like I told you, some of them are still in like negotiations with these people and still sorting through it and still going through it with it. You know, it's not finalized yet. They don't have enough to offer you right now or what they're giving you emotionally just isn't enough. It's not cutting it, period. Ten of Cups, they want that with you, but again, they have to give you Ten of Cups energy then. They can't give you Four of Cups expecting Ten of Cups. You understand? All right. Let's see. Four of Swords is peace, resting, okay? Nine of Cups. So this is what they meditate on, getting their heart's desires, which is you. Getting their wish fulfillment, which is you. Having a future with you. Building a life with you. Different things like that. The Knight of Swords. So going from the Knight of Wands, which is like super passionate, very, you know, um, energetic, okay, extremely sexually charged to Nine of Pentacles, which is, whoa, 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 let me slow it down to realizing that maybe that will make you think they're not interested. So now they have to find a middle ground, which is like Nine of Swords, but the Nine of Swords is quick as hell. And if they say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, then they may make it worse than it ever has been. You know what I'm saying? So they have to pick and choose what they're going to do. And they have to pick and choose wisely to a swords. Child, this person has a lot on their mind. They got a lot that they're going through, okay, with that person. And then trying to make sure you don't walk away. It's just a lot. Yeah, we got the Ace of Wands. But there's going to be a breakthrough. I feel like they're taking matters into their own hands. 
Yeah, the high priestess. You know it's going. You already know the high priestess, the chariot, and the lovers. So you already know what, that this is going to work itself out. It's just a matter of it actually doing so. Okay, six of wands and the ace of wands. What is this? All right, what is this? We have the page of pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. Yeah, that leads to a ten of cups. All right, but you have to be okay with starting all over or something. Some people are just going to decide to completely end it, period. Give us more on this tennis course and the trim card. I really feel like this is the karmic situation, though. I feel like somebody is finally bold enough or strong enough or courageous enough to end something that they don't want to be in, you know? Yeah, the king of pentacles, okay? Yeah, they're finally strong enough to walk away from this situation they don't want to be in no more. You see here? Yeah, they're over it, to be honest with you. They could have been over it for a long time, but you're not going to be like, hey, leave. Then leave then. Then go. Then go then. No. And if it's you that's in a situation that you've been ready to leave, they're not going to be like, well, then leave then. Well, then go then. It's for the other person to make that call, you know? So the two of wands, okay? Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. What is this two of wands? We have the six of pentacles. Yeah. So when it comes to who do I think is a better match for me, you know, is it the karmic or is it my twin? I'm going to go with my twin. That's where they're coming from. Okay. Two of wands and the six of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. They're going to put the work in, period. So you might notice this person making a lot more effort these days, okay, because they don't want to lose this connection. I don't feel like they will, but, you know... At the end of the day, I don't know if feminine, you want to give them any more chances. Like I said, for some of you, you're just over it. The person hasn't been bold enough or courageous enough this entire time. And remember that done card. Okay. It's like saying, even though you know that this could be a perfect match, six of pentacles, even though you have that gut feeling, you know, and this is a soul connection, it wouldn't matter if the person hasn't learned their lesson. It's like, if they haven't learned their lesson, you have learned yours. And that's that you won't put up with this or you won't deal with this or it's something, whether it comes from them or whether it comes from somebody else. You just refuse to accept less than what you know you deserve, you know? I understand that wholeheartedly, okay? Empress, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Mm, the star card. You're divinely protected, Okay, you are divinely protected. This person wants to hold on to you while they creep on this person, but that's not going to last long. It could be because of child or children. We said that already, though. Okay, and that keeps coming up. Like, again, children are innocent. So this is my thing. If a person wants to keep their family together, let them do that. You know what I'm saying? The family deserves the fighting chance, y'all. They really do. You know, and karmics are not bad people. They're just not the divines to the divines. You know what I mean? Everybody has a karmic and we're all karmic to somebody. So it's not necessarily a bad person. And if that's what they want to do, then let them do it. But I just feel this energy here where it's not what they want to do. And they like playing with fire. You know what I'm saying? So, chill. It might get worse before it get better, but it damn sure won't get better. We have family, okay? Home, acceptance, belonging, and love. There it is. All right, so if it's a family, let them stay. You know what I'm saying? Let it stay together forever. Let them do what they do. But this person feels like you're their home, you're their family. Even if y'all don't have um, child or children together, it wouldn't matter. But some of you do. Some of you have child or children with this person and you just haven't been together for whatever reason. Okay, now this may be a very specific message for somebody, not everybody. Some of you have child or children with this person, but it didn't work because of certain things that they were doing that, you know, you just wasn't going to settle for nothing less than you deserve. So they went and got with somebody else, like a karmic, and had a child with them also. You get what I'm saying type situation? And you're just like, well, you could stay over there because it's things that maybe they do with the karmic, such as seven of swords, ten of swords, that they know they're not going to be able to do with you. Okay, it's just not going to fly. We have reunion, community, wedding, and teamwork. This is the uh, four of wands energy. So again, they want 10 of cups, four of wands. That should tell you everything. All right. You take me completely out of my comfort zones. I love being intimate with you. Naughty thoughts. Okay. So yeah, you guys try new things together. Okay. And all that. I just saw innocent. So you may be two different. <laughs> You may be two different ways. You know, you present yourself one way to the public, but they know you to be something else behind closed doors. 
Okay, influence. It says bravery, confident, persuasive, and strength. You're very strong, okay? Very strong individual, but you don't allow yourself to sit in that strength. You know how to be soft. You know how to receive. You know how to fall back, small bet, when need be. You know how to shut the mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know how to do those things, okay? You know how to be passive, okay? There's a difference between being aggressive and being assertive. I had to have that conversation with somebody the other day. Um, assertive is knowing what you want, how you want it. Aggressive, though, is like just something different, in my opinion. <laughs> aggressive is toxic, okay? You don't have to be aggressive. You can be assertive. Let it be known what you will, will not accept, and that's it, you know? If a person loves you, if they want to deal with you, if they want to be in your environment, they'll respect it. If they don't, any of those things, then they won't. And you can do what you want to do with that, right? But it says, I am craving you. More naughty thoughts. This person has a lot of naughty thoughts about you. That's that Knight of Wands energy we was talking about, okay? You have fast life. Yeah, this person could have had a very fast life, okay? Or you did. Somebody was exposed to a lot very early. Okay, we have sex, drugs, trauma, and violence, okay? Somebody could have been exposed to a lot of things, and that could have had a lot of influence on who and how they are, okay? We have persistence, okay? Courage, backbone, resilience, and perseverance, all right? Again, this person does not give up. Yeah, they're determined to get what they want, okay? They're determined. This person wants to marry you. That's their uh, wish fulfillment, okay? We have self-esteem, positivity, success, and prosperity. And we have generosity, which says support, gifts, assistance, and money. So everything you need, you're going to receive. You know, whatever you need, when you need it, you're going to get it. Underlying energy here is innocent, okay? Again, you may be somebody that is extremely innocent, but you are not naive. You know, you're very pure at heart is what they mean. You're, you're pure soul, okay? Who you say you are is really who and how you are. You don't put on the front or flex for anybody at all, okay? It says youthful, kind, playful, and true. Yeah, you let it be known who you are, okay? Why do I have to pretend? Why do I have to deny my truth? Because other people can't accept it or because they can't handle it? <laughs> you can't handle the truth, okay? But listen, just because people can't handle the truth don't mean that you shouldn't be all of who you are. You understand? Okay? Blue's over here getting some more core jaw. Give me a second. Just some more core jaw. All right? Hey, yo, Tim, man, this the jump off right here, man. <laughs> You guys remember that song? Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. All right, so I got this one, and I'm going to get this one. Okay, let's get into it, child. We haven't done my dragons. Hold up now. We haven't done my dragons in a minute. So what I want to do is uh, do that for you all later on. I'm also going to do some members only readings today, and I'm also going to do some for the patron. Um, here's the thing about that, y'all. Like I said, there was a lot going on. Everything is resituating itself or it's already situated. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Okay. Everything is already situated. So I'm going to get everything back up to date, everything up and running. All right. If you were waiting on an email from me, your email is more than likely going to be a video. For those of you who are over on the high priestess tier over on the patron, if you were waiting on an email, it's more than likely going to be a video. Okay. Um, because, you know, I, I got to give you guys what I owe you. And because you had to wait, I'm going to go ahead and give you something in addition. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I do. You know what I'm saying? All right, but let us see here. What are the messages for our feminines? What do they need to know? <sighs> what are the messages for our feminists? What do they need to know? Okay, we have map. Which course takes me home? Didn't I say that? Home, home, home. Third time is a what? Charm. If somebody is watching masculines in the back of the back that are like, what's up? Compass plant. Your feminine is your home. I'm pretty sure they already figured it out. For the feminines that are here, that are still wondering, that are in that two of wands, what, what do I do? What do I do? Your masculine is your home. I'm pretty sure you already figured it out, but this is confirmation. 
Okay. We have here a flip. <laughs> now who they want? We have <laughs> how does the situation look and feel from a different view? Stink bug. Oh God. Stink bug. Okay. How does it look and feel from a different view? Okay. Mm. Exactly. You know, how would you feel if you were the other person? You understand? You got to always look at it like that. How would you feel if you were masculine? How would you feel if you were karmic? You know, you have to think, think about those things and take other people's feelings into consideration. Okay. I feel like you do. And that's what makes you pure at heart. You know, you're not out here like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do what I want to do. It feels good to me right? because now you're going to create negative karma for yourself. You're masculine and whomever else may be involved. And it's just not, it's just not necessary, nor is it cool. You understand? But it says, what is always mine? Exactly. What is always yours? <laughs> not trying to be funny, but you can go ahead and throw masculine in there with that category. What is always yours? Masculine. Okay. Whether well, masculine is somewhere else or not. You understand? Okay. We have, what is ready to go so I can grow? burn oh i like that so this is a way of thinking feeling existing a way of allowing people to treat you um a certain perception or idea that you have of love life yourself different things like that come to mind what am i integrating beaver build i feel like there's a fire inside of you that you just cannot put out like right here is savage mode your twin may feel like you're in savage mode are you really you know your karmics may feel like you're in savage mode are you really or are you just living life tending to good vibes and being in the moment that's what you're supposed to do you know what i mean you're not supposed to be worried way too much into the future why are you worried about that you're not supposed to be thinking about nothing from your past the shit is already gone it's not coming back you shouldn't even want it to come back all you need to be worried about is where you are at right now and what steps you're going to take to make sure that your future looks better. But you don't have to look so far into the future that you like scaring yourself out of something that haven't even happened yet. We have pleasure. I know that's right. Amen. <laughs> and connect with crystals. You're like, who is a mess? Did she just say amen? Shall you? Yeah. Connect with your ancestors. Okay. Connect with your ancestors as above, so below, as within, so without. Your ancestors are guiding you, okay? Trust what you feel. Trust what you know, all right? Some of you have an amazing circle of, like, friends who you can be all of yourself with. Some of you have friends that do the same thing that you do, that are into the same things that you're into, and it just works, you know? Beautiful, beautiful connections. We have journal, okay? Journaling helps you process your emotions. We have hydrates. Okay, make sure that you're staying hydrated. Get all your water. Okay, balance your pH levels. Okay, we have abundance planning. There you go. Amen. <laughs> and we have be still because why? That's where God is. Peace, be still, honey. Didn't I say the four of swords and the nine of cups? You want to manifest what it is that you want? Pull that yoga mat out and just lay on it, okay? <laughs> and then we have movement. And after you're done being still, get up and do a little bit of yoga. Dance, okay? Have a good time. Move the energy. That's the thing. Energy, you have to move it, okay? Positive affirmation. Speak positivity over yourself. You know what? Another trick, too. Speak positivity into your water, Speak into your water and then drink it. Tell your water what you want it to do, okay? You want it to bring you love. You want it to hydrate your body. You want it to um, protect you. You want it to bring you more money. Whatever it is that you want your water to do, let it know, okay? And again, dance. Move your body around, all right? So I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. This was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.